I'm Cassie with the Emma Goldman Youth and Homeless Outreach Project. I'm Lucy with Eggy Hop. My name is Shiloh Murphy, and I am the Executive Director of the People's Harm Reduction Alliance. My name is Meg Martin, and I am a volunteer with Iggy Hop. My name is Max, and I am a volunteer with Iggy Hop. We're here today to show you a really common situation. Unfortunately, too common, yeah? You find dirty syringes. You assume they're dirty. You don't know. Assume they are dirty. We're here to show you how to safely pick them up and dispose of them to help reduce a little harm. For your container, you can use anything that will close. Here I have a glass bottle. It's not ideal because it can break. However, it is puncture resistant. Other options would be a laundry detergent bottle or asking your local hospital or needle exchange for a personal sharps container. Uh, when you're going to pick up dirties, you want to take your container, put it on the ground and uncap it, and leave it until all dirties are in the container. And most ideally, in this situation, you would have a picky up guy, like this one, which would give you three feet of space between the syringes and your body. But I will demonstrate how this works. And in a situation where you don't have picky up guys, it's best to find a glove. So you can put your glove on. And what you want to do is come up to the needle. And if there's more than one right next to each other, you want to only get one at a time. And remember, always pick it up from the end that does not have the point on it. In a worst case scenario, you won't have gloves, but you can know that your skin's a natural protector as long as you don't have cuts or lesions. Same idea, picking it up from the non-point side one at a time and dropping it in. So if you live in Olympia, you can put it in a plastic container or a glass container, close it, and then seal it up, put biohazard on it, and you can throw it in the trash. If you live somewhere like Seattle, Washington, then you would have to bring it into a needle distribution site, like a needle exchange or a pharmacy that had disposal. So I hope this is informative. And remember, we don't deal in puppies here. We're dealing with biohazard. So be safe. Love you all.